Hey, all my beautiful people. Somebody asked me if I was going to be recording this. Well, I'm not live, but I am getting everything set up. And it is happening. Can you believe it has been three weeks already? I don't believe it. I find myself shaking my head and going, already? So, the last two times that I did my infusions, I had a shortage of this little bottle of stuff right here the little bottle and I had a very small amount of this one and hi again I was recording and my camera fell so <laughs> you probably missed a lot of the prep of this stuff right here but that's okay. I was just talking about how it's been three weeks already. And let's see, what else was I talking about? How the last infusion, I think they shorted me some of the um, the high in these smaller bottles. And uh, I'm, I am ecstatic. Get all this air out of here. save every drop of that good stuff right there. However, I don't want to lose any of it. So we're going to cap it. My goodness. It's all there. It's almost 25 mils. It's a, um, I am prescribed 22 mils and it's light at, at 23 right now. I think I have enough of this to do the job. So, hip hip. Hooray! Okay, that's wonderful. That is wonderful news. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go ahead and get this um, into the line. So I will not waste any more time. I've already taken my pre-meds and I do uh, take Benadryl before doing the infusion just in case there is some weird uh, reaction or side effect. I've been doing this for going on. Oh, it's been three years <laughs> already. So first thing I'm going to do is lock these babies right here. Lock these little things down. And then I'm going to dry prime my needles. Very important to do. Because if you don't dry prime them, which means that you're pushing all of the medication down to this point not all the way down to the needle so that's the dry prime so that's going to take place right about now okay you got that set don't want to lose any of this good stuff, so get that all set and ready to go. And then the big kahuna. I'm going to fill up the bag. Let me get the bag over here so you can see what I'm talking about. It's like an IV bag that is going to get filled up with the other gizmos that are in the big
bigger bottles. And just for safety measure, I always give these a good wipe. Don't want anything cross-contaminating. Even though I just took the tops off of these, everything should be good. I'm um, going to connect these two. gravity can do its thing. We're going to start with the smallest vial and pray our way through it because it doesn't always want to give us what we want. But I think we may have a deal happening tonight. It's working. I am excited. I'm excited. Look at that. You can see those little bubbles. Wait, let's see. There they are. Little bubbles going up right there where the pin is pointing. That is going to empty this out. Really quick. See those bubbles right there by right below my purple gloved finger? Those little bubbles are zooming up. Yes! Thank you, Jesus. I say that because this little bitty gizmo right here likes to give me grief sometimes. It takes it forever to give up its juice, liquid gold. This is not liquid gold, but um, in color, but it's liquid gold in my mind. People who donate plasma goes into, the plasma goes into this little bottle, as well as other wonderful medications that are pumping me up so that I will have some germ fighters in my system because nothing, nothing um, essential oil wise or any other wise is going to change um, my immune system at this point. My primary immune system does not work because my body does not make any germ fighters. So when I say I'm on really uh, lockdown without going anywhere, uh, without protecting myself with a mask, if there's a big group of people or doctor's office or whatever, I'm serious. So. We're about eight minutes in. I have no idea how much time is on this gadget that I am recording with. It's actually a tablet. So we will see how far we can get with this gizmo. I'm trying to get all the little bubbles out because every single drop of this is going to help me to stay away from germs and cooties, bacteria for the next three weeks. Thank you if you've ever donated plasma for the calls. Okay, that one is empty. Put it over there. And here goes number two. That was much easier. Y'all watch that? It's going crazy fast. Right there. Right under my finger. You can hear it. Some people are probably thinking, oh my lord, I'd never put anything like that in my body. Well, if you were diagnosed with a rare disease where you were considered a bubble boy or bubble girl, yes, you would. You would do whatever you could. 
if your child was diagnosed with this, you would do whatever it takes to get treatment for your child. There is no cure for hypogamma globulinemia, but there is a treatment. That's what this is. This is called immunoglobulin. This is hycuvia. And um, it has a lot of human plasma in it, plus other um, medication to try to keep me well for the next three weeks. It's like my defense. There's some bubbles coming out. Got to get every drop of that as I can. I hate whenever it gets all bubbly up in there because it makes you feel like, oh my goodness, you have not, you can't get it all out. Well, I'm trying. Probably shaking the camera too. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's still coming out. Drops, drops, drippy, drippy drops. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Give me every drop of it. Yes, please. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I need it all. I um, don't like the process of having the infusion because it is not the most comfortable deal ever, but it's, necessar it's necessary. It is a necessity. Okay, guys, I'm going to take this one, remove that. I hate that. I'm going to see if I can get more of that later. But right now we're going to vial number three. Come on, baby. Let's do it. Come on. There we go. Finally. I was like, oh, no, you're not going to stop on me. Look at them bubbles right there. Sorry, it's not very clear. Let's see if I can get that to focus a little better, but it's not happening. But you can see those bubbles just going for it. Right there. Right there. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's fill this bag up. This girl needs to get this into her system. I've been fighting a UTI. Um, it's a real struggle for me because that's one of the things that I've had to deal with from the very beginning of life, the get-go. It's been a horrible, horrible journey. My IgA is very low. IgG is the immunoglobulin, which I don't have. Uh, I don't have enough of to protect myself. That's why I have to infuse with this. And thanks again to everyone who has ever went to the donation center and donated your plasma. I'm very grateful. Okay. This bag is now full. Well, I'll take the rest of those bubbles right there. We'll get the rest of those down. Come on, baby. I want them all. Come on, come on, come on. A lot of bubbles up in there, y'all. That a lot. I'm going to let this bag hang down so it can get some more gravity in there to um, help me out. 
thanks for sitting out with me and watching this. I appreciate your company. Yeah, there's a lot hiding in there. Come on. Give me every drop of it. If you have never considered donating plasma, I would like to encourage you to do so. Um, it's I say donating plasma, um, but you will get a small um, stipend or a payment for your uh, donation of plasma. And I think you can make up to uh, 600 or more dollars a month by donating plasma. So if you think that's something that you are interested in or now that you know someone who needs your plasma, me, Dora, that yarny zebra, um, yes, do it. There's several people out there like me. Not every one of us has a YouTube channel. But um, I am considered a zebra because of this rare disease. Yeah, I pulled my needle out and lost a couple drops of this stuff. How crazy is that? I'm going to cap that off. Close that part. Give these bubbles a run for their money. Yes, I am. Come on. Got some air in there. I'm do. I'm gonna do some burping of this bag. Whoop, whoop. There goes the device again. Oh, no. Okay. I think I got it back. Maybe. Okay. I'm going to burp this bag. I'm going to get some air out of it because I need every, I need every drop of this. Um, hmm. Here's my other needle. Excuse me while I pull out another needle, a real needle this time, the one with the, mm-hmm. see what I can do with this because I really need as much of this goodness to make it into this bag so there we go burp that burp that and let some more of this goodness come on come on baby come on give me every drop of it gotta let this air out There we go. Keep coming down. Keep coming down, darling. I know. People are like, girl, just get on with it. If you've ever donated, you know that it's not a very 10-minute process right so every drop that you donate I would like to put it to good use and not waste it so that's why I am 
people are like, what are you doing? Well, I'm milking the line. And when nothing else is coming out, then we're going to block it off and call it done. If I can do it. Now, there we go. It is done. Now, I'm going to finish getting all this bubbles out. Yes. Grab me one of these. Because I don't want to wear Icubia. or anywhere else. Now people get their immunoglobulin in different ways. Some go to the infusion center at the hospital and get their treatments. I do not. I do mine subcutaneously, which means that it is done in my thighs or abdomen. And let's put this in the sharps. Um, bottom line is, oh, I did pretty good getting them bubbles out of there. Bottom line is I have very limited veins because I was very sick child, very sick as a child, and had serious, serious issues. Um, getting an IV, getting any of that stuff. I had Lots of staph infections, a lot of craziness that, um, a lot of bacteria infections that went untreated because they didn't know what was wrong with me. They just knew I was always sick. She's the one every time we turn around. Yeah. No fun. Okay, guys, this, this one goes into the center gizmo here. That is so not easy to take off, but I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Ooh. This will hang from my IV pole. aside and go from there. Now I know the part that I hate is coming right up. It's the part where I stick the needles in because I have very resistant tissue from um, all the times of doing this. So, it is no fun. That is the lidocaine that I have had on the site for the last 45 minutes. I'm gonna wipe that down. Okay. Clean a lot of paint off of this side. Literally, I have what is it? 
what's the word, calluses, I guess, from where the needles go in and the medicine goes in. Yes. It's definitely not a um, happy, happy thing that takes place, but I'm happy to be able to say there is a treatment for me. My device did turn around for me, didn't it, a little bit. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to go ahead and dry prime this. I'm pushing the high through these teeny tiny little lines until it gets very close to the locks. And then I stop. There we go. Well, one is moving a lot faster than the other. I hope that it doesn't bypass where it needs to be going. Because I really do want to start this with a dry... Oh no! It, it bypassed my little lock. I'm going to do this one first. Yeah, before it starts leaking on me. No! No leaking. Okay, let me get my stuff ready. Wait. Yeah, that's it. One. Two. These are folded. into the little squares. I'm going to do this one right away. I know you guys can't see where I'm going with this. You don't need to. It's okay. Well, there's the other part of the recording device that fell earlier. Sorry. It's really crooked. Y'all can't see what's happening here. Okay, this one is called a butterfly. I'm going to take the cap off of that needle. And this is a very small needle. Probably can't even see it. It's so tiny. There it is by my hair. Hold it like this. Poke it into the skin on my thigh. Hope I don't hit a spot that's... Um, already been stuck numerous times. Just relax. Don't have any muscles poked up here. And it's in. And the little bandage is in place. And the sticky sticky is going on. Tegaderm. That's what it is, is Tegaderm. Tegaderm. Tegaderm is going in place right now. Okay. Lock that in. <sighs> Number two. On the right thigh. Folding that baby. Getting my tagaderm ready. Y'all, it's been 30 minutes. And it's not as much fun if it's not a live. Last time I did it, I think I did a live. Actually, I was doing a live once before. And it was during the crazy, the, the bots, you know, were shutting people down and stuff. 
I was I was shut down doing a live. I guess they saw my underwear or something. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, what just happened? Okay, so I'm going to relax, relax. That's the problem is trying to get this needle in its place without any issues and without any blood return. I'm not going into a vein. I am just going into a a spot on my thigh that does not have um, any scars, uh, any stretch marks, um, and that has not been used umpteen thousand times and is calloused. So I, I am glad to say that this little endeavor tonight has almost been pulled off without a hitch. I am very excited because I didn't even feel the need is going in. That's not always the case. Sometimes it's like, Lord have mercy. Feels like you've been stung by a wasp or a bumblebee. But this time, guys, I must say I'm impressed. It went, it went really well. Let me unlock this. And it's time to start pushing the high. This is done slowly because it does burn. And the instructions are push as tolerated. And I'm going to stop right there because I feel it. I'm not going to be a wimp, but I have to go and get my IV pole. I made it back. I have my um, pump here that I'm getting ready to open up. And before I do that, I'm going to push couple more milliliters of this in. Trying to get this done as painless as possible. Yeah, I'm working on it, y'all. Hold your tater. <laughs> Get this all set up and ready to roll. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't need to drop anything. I'm going to plug this IV bag up over here. This needs to be set up. Into the pump. Get this done and we can move on upstairs to the bedroom where I can go to sleep and let this happen, y'all. Seriously. Oh, yeah. That is in. Turn this around and get it in. What the deal is with this? It's leaking. 
I have no idea how that leaked in. Thank goodness I was wearing a glove, right? Okay, let's see. And this one goes in here, and you lock this down. Boing! Lock down, checking the batteries. No batteries. Time to put batteries in. Yes, indeed. Takes two C batteries to work this pump, y'all. They do not send this pump to us with a cord. It is not corded, so every three weeks we get our batteries. Now let's get this set up. It's going to push a little more high. Yes, we're checking you, darling. Today is June 27, 2020. Battery is full. Oh, sorry, you missed it. Battery is full. High is going in slowly. Burning, burning a little bit. We're working it, y'all. We're working it. Oh, we are. Oh, we are working it. Mm. Have you ever had to have potassium in an IV? Okay, okay, so if you haven't, if you have, you know what I'm talking about, about the burn. That is what is going on in my thighs right now at the sites. Um, I'm dealing with a little burn. Okay, a, a lot of burn, okay, I'm not going to lie to you. It's burning. But it says to push this through the line uh, as tolerated. I'm working on it. As tolerated. I've got extra needles here that I'm getting ready to put into the bag with the rest of the needles. I'm doing some cleanup right now so that I will not have a mess to worry about later on. I know it's already morning. I know, but whew, this is a real deal. I know. You know what that's telling me? Ah, oh, alert, alert. No keypad activity. Are you still there? Yes, I am. I'm pushing the high so I can do this part. Yes, I am, darling. So this is going to be started shortly. It is already programmed, just saying. Uh, it is programmed into the system. So that whenever you start your infusion, it just takes place. I mean, you are set to go. I, I double tape my sights so that I can go to bed and have this happening without feeling the discomfort that I'm feeling right now just from pushing this stuff. Yes, yes I am. I'm telling it like it is. So I have 10 more milliliters of this stuff to put in. And what this is doing is plumping up my soft tissue, the cells in my thighs, so that this big bag of stuff 
will go into my thighs or soft tissue and absorb into my body and give me the fight that I need. I'm sorry, this is trying to fall again. It's just sliding because it's sliding because it is it is sitting on this chuck. I hear you, darling. Yes, I'm still here. Bless it. It's worried about me. It's worried about the batteries dying before we even get started. What do you think? Hmm. Yes, I am drinking. Sweet tea from Dairy Queen. I've never been a fan of unsweet tea. I... I guess you have to have a taste for it. I tried it when I was um, dealing with diabetes. Um, I am not dealing with diabetes anymore. I had um, uh, an appointment the other day and they said your uh, A1C has been six. 5.8, 6.0 for two years now. So, I don't think you need to take that diabetic medicine anymore. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. I don't like taking medicine. I, I despise taking medicine. If you've ever seen uh, one of my videos where I'm filling up my medicine towers, no fun. No fun at all. That's one of the things I was supposed to do today. Didn't get done. It's having one of those days. Okay, so you guys are so kind sitting and waiting and having um, a little break with me. I'm getting this pushed in as fast as I can tolerate it. That's what they say to do as tolerated. So I'm working on it. I know this is off center. I know that this thing has dropped a couple times during recording and we're almost at an hour. Um, that's why when people say, well, how long does it take you to do your infusion? Well, the prep and everything else um, getting everything ready, um, and doing it from home is, it's approximately seven hours. Yeah, I know. I did say seven hours. My body just will not tolerate it going in any faster. Some people are like, well, you are such a wimp. I can't believe it takes you that long. A, me either. Let's see how fast we can push this in. Maybe not. Let's do it slower. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously. It is not a happy feeling. But I'm doing my very, very best to tolerate it. I have friends who have been doing this for 20 years, okay? Mm. I was only diagnosed when I was 55. So, years of illnesses, infections, after infections. I mean, hospital stays after hospital stays. I don't know what's wrong with you. Why can't you get well? And then you hear people say it's all in your head. You're just doing this for attention. That's why you're in the hospital again. Who wants to be in the hospital? Not me. Trust me. It is not my favorite place to be. Okay, guys. I am about to finish up with this. Um, yes. I'm 
just about to finish up with that, and I'm going to double secure my bandages because my sweet love, Lucky Pants, is my companion, and he does sleep with Mama. Anybody else up there? Little poochie woochies sleep in the bed with you. Well, Lucky is the spoiled little poochie poo. He's a Shih Tzu, but he's more poodle than anything else. I call him a, he's a Shih Poo. Sorry, I said it wrong. He is a Shih Tzu poodle mix. <laughs> very rotten. Very rotten little man. I went, I went for a ride today in a convertible, and Lucky had to be part of that ride. Yes, yes, he did. Got right in there and went for a ride. I'm talking about you, Booger Butt. Uh, did you hear him in there? He got up off the, he was probably on my chaise lounge. Got up off of it and shook himself real good. Okay, guys, let's get the rest of this in so we can start the big stuff. I am carrying this around with me. Yes, this is it. Epinephrine injection, just in case. For emergencies. That is always uh, with my IV pole. Has to be right with me so that I'll have it. There goes the last mill of high. Yes, indeed, it is in. It's in. Okay, I'm going to use this part, and, oh, that is so hard to twist off. What in the world? Oh. Okay, that's going in the shards. And this little gizmo right here is getting ready to be attached to this. Where did my other gloves go? Oh, here we go. Hook these babies up. Yeah, you just saw me use that. Yes, she did. Okay, it's already primed. It's already right there. Okay, unlock that. Get this baby started. Hook up my IV pole to the, I mean, IV. Uh, hook up my stuff to the IV pole. Right there it is. Oh, here. That's where it goes. The pump's going right there. Okay, program, yes. Resume, repeat, re prescription. Yes. Prescription in progress. Yes to repeat. Four doses. It's all showing up on there. Showing me, yeah, it's already programmed. Run to start. Yes. Okay. It just said there is 
five hours and 43 minutes left, but usually it takes a little bit longer than that to complete the process because I want every single drop. Yeah. Yes. Wow, that's a lot of sweat in my glove. Hmm. Sweat or no sweat, I am going to alky prep my hand. Make sure there's not any of that cubia on my hand because that stuff is really sticky stuff. Very sticky. Thank you guys. Oh my goodness. We've been doing this for an hour and my gracious. Um, there were probably about 10 minutes of recording that was missed because my device had dropped and we missed a whole 10 minutes of the prep, so I apologize. If you are just diagnosed with hypogamma globulinemia or some other um, primary immune deficiency, if you're getting, if you have CVID or any of the other primary immune deficiencies and are getting treatment, I hope this has been a little bit educating and not totally um, confusing for you. I uh, do have um, more videos in my um, on my channel in my playlist that are um, identified as high gamma globulinemia infusion. Uh, you can go to my playlist and um, it will show up. Um, so this one will also go to that playlist. Thank you again for watching. God bless you all real big. Remember Jesus loves you. And he has doctors and um, technicians and um, lab techs, people that are working every day to discover new ways to treat uh, people with primary immune deficiencies who have rare diseases. Uh, do not give up. It took them 55 years to diagnose me. What? That's really true. True. Yeah, I do have some organ damage from infections that were not treated, but I'm still alive and well. Like I said, Jesus loves me. I'm his favorite. Well, okay, so are you. We're all his favorite. Take care. And like, subscribe, share this if you know someone who is um, a zebra like me and has a rare disease and may have questions or an uh, need answers. Share this video. Um, there is a little bell icon near the subscribe button so that you will get a notification the next time I infuse or video my infusion. So, yeah. Um, just want you to know you're not alone. Um, this is something that a lot of people around the world are doing sometimes every week. And they're not 55 or 58 like I just turned 58. They're not 58. They're 5 or 7 or younger. And parents are doing what they can to make sure their children are getting the treatments they need. So donate plasma if you've never donated and you are healthy enough to donate. Go donate so you can help someone else and uh, lengthen the lives of the people that are living with rare diseases. Have a good day.